swiftly. We're off uh, to K2s in a room full of people dressed up as uh, pirates, Red Indians, warriors. It's the ones who dress who dress as 17th century dandies, I feel sorry for. Katie. Oh, to talk to Adam. Oh. Adam. You're on. You're on. Am I on? Where? Adam. Hello? Good Lord. Am I on? Hey, this is crazy live television. Is this really on? Is this really here? Well, you know what? I, I'm just really out of my nut here because we are having a swashbuckling, timber shivering time here with a bunch of ant people who are here in London for it and Adam and the Ant Convention. And I just want to talk to some of the devotees. We've got Karen over here. Now, you put an a Adam and the Ant tattoo on your shoulder last yeah. year, so you must think that uh, he's kind of a happening thing now. Oh, uh, he's brilliant. Excellent. Best things ever happened. No complaints. No complaints no. whatsoever. Never. Now, you, Alice, you're 18 years old. You must have been about two molecules big when you first got into him. Seven years old. Seven years old. And what was it that attracted you to Adam? Just so original. Just amazing. Brilliant. Great. And Umish, you're the one who organized this convention. How many people are involved? 400. 400 people, but I'm sure there's many, many more all over the world. Adam, are you there? Yeah. You are there. Now, what do you think about all these people who have gathered together in your honor, dolled up? Do you think it's a wholesome pursuit? Oh, I'm very flattered, you know. Um, what can you say? <clears throat> Some of these I mean, it's, it feels great, you know. Some of these people, Adam, have come from as far as Denmark to see you. I mean, are you surprised that there's still this much positive attention for what you have to offer? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I'm, oh, it seems to have cut off. So, no, uh, I mean, it's great if people are still listening and, uh, you know, I'm in the middle of a tour at the moment of the States. I'm um, playing New York tonight. The shows are selling out. And you can't ask for more than that, you and, know. But, but, so I'm going to be playing in England later on this year. All the kids. Yeah. Oh, everybody got very, very excited about that. And Adam, some of the people here have a few questions for you, so listen carefully, and they're going to put them to you. What's your question for Adam? I'd like to know what advice you'd give to young bands who may be looking for management from Malcolm McLaren. Uh, say that. So what, what, adv here. what advice would you give to young bands who may be looking for management from Malcolm McLaren? Am I looking for management from Malcolm McLaren? What advice would you give to young bands who are looking for that? What advice would you give to young bands who might be involved with advice Malcolm McLaren? Advice to my fans looking for management? Um, is that right? I can hardly hear. Um, Adam. Try and find someone that knows what they're doing. And, pres and presumably... Is he Don't the sign guy? anything. Okay, what about you? What, a quest what question do you have? Okay, um, if Adam went back in time to any part of his life, what would he go back to and why? Uh, I couldn't hear that. What part, what, if you could go Can back repeat to... repeat that? I really can't hear. Okay, Adam, if you went back in time to any part of your life, what, uh, what would you go to and why? Oh, listen, we're having a few problems with sound then with old Adam. Were you an Adam and the Ants fan? Because you were into punk and all that, weren't you? Yeah, I was into punk, but I was never into Adam or the Ants. So I have to yeah, but Adam and the Ants were quite a hardcore punk band, weren't they, at one time? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, no, they were, they were, they were really early. <laughs> In the early on days, they were before Kings no, of the Wild. I was a 101ers fan myself, you know. Oh, the Clash. Yeah. Before, but you see, I, you were trying to catch me out then, weren't Certainly. you?